I will be explaining what a firewall is and the different type of firewall that can be used within a business or an organization. Now, what exactly is a firewall? As a network engineer specialist, how is firewall important to securing a network is very important. So firewall act as a barrier between trusted internal network and untrusted external network through the internet. The function of a firewall is to monitor and filter incoming and outgoing network traffic based on a defined set of security rules. That's the definition of it. Now, one thing I want to explain to you that you need to know that on the screen here, you can see a firewall, a server, and an internet. As you can see here, and here, this firewall, the server, and the internet allow traffic going through the firewall and at the same time also denying traffic passing through the firewall as you can see there. Now, being a network engineer specialist, there are possible incoming traffic that could be allowed into the network. The first one could be allowed traffic from an external address to the web server. Also, what could also be allowed is a file transfer protocol server. Also, another example that can also be allowed to pass through the firewall could be simple mail transfer protocol. And the possible last one could be the internet message access protocol server. This is what we mean by firewall monitoring and filter incoming traffic through a set of rule. And at the same time, based on a set of rule, we can use it to prevent unauthorized access and block malicious attack and help enforce security policy to a network using the firewall to deny access. One of the deny, one of the possible ways that could be denied in terms of uh, could be deny is basically inbound traffic with network addresses matching internal register IP address. What exactly do I mean? That is the firewall is configured to block any incoming data packet that claim to originate from an IP address within your own private network. Another possible denier, denier access to the firewall could be inbound traffic to the server from external addresses. That is the server is not accessible from the internet or any network outside its immediate allowed network segment. Another possible denier is inbound from internet control message protocol request. That is to say the firewall is configured to block incoming ping requests. Another possible one of denial access to the firewall is the Microsoft Active Directory query. That is the firewall is configured to block any incoming network traffic attempting to communicate with the Microsoft Active Directory within that organization of yours and also deny any inbound traffic from the Microsoft Structure Query Language, which stands for SQL Server. That is the firewall ensure uh, is, for, is configured to block an incoming traffic attempting to communicate with the organization of Microsoft uh, SQL Server database from the data image. And the last one that could be is a denial to all MS domain local broadcasts. That is the firewall is configured to block specific type of network traffic that are sent to all devices within a local network segment. So by the definition of a firewall, which monitor and filter incoming and outgoing network traffic 
based on a defined set of security rules. As a network engineer specialist, you must be able to permit certain traffic through the network and also deny certain traffic to prevent malicious attack and unauthorized access from gaining access to your network infrastructure. So by this, this leads me to the types of firewall that you as an organization must be put in place. So being a network engineer specialist, you should be able to understand the different type of firewall and their function so that the right firewall is being used in an organization or a business. One example of that is known as packet filtering firewall, which is also known as a stateless firewall. It examines individual data packets as they attempt to pass through it, but thereby allowing and denying them based on a set of pre predefined rules. That is to say, a packet filtering firewall are usually part of a router firewall, which permit or deny traffic based on a layer three network or a layer four transport network of an OSL model. Another example of a type of firewall is known as a stateful firewall. And this stateful firewall monitor and keep track of the state of active network connection as they passes through the firewall, unlike a packet filter, filter that isolate the traffic passing through it. For most organizations, this stateful firewall is mostly versatile and commonly firewall that is used technology within the industry. A stateful firewall is classified as in network layer three and also analyze traffic at the OSR layer four as well as layer five section of the OSR model. The next one is the application gateway firewall. This is also known as a proxy firewall or another people, some other people call it application, application layer firewall. This firewall filter traffic at layers three, four, five, and seven of the OSI reference model. And basically, when a client is needed to access a remote server, it connects to a proxy server. This proxy server connects to the remote server on behalf of the client. Therefore, the server only see the connection from the proxy server. And the last type of firewall, which is a new one, is known as the next generation of firewall and is an advanced firewall that combine the capability of traditional firewall, which is known as a stateful firewall, with additional deeper and intelligence feature, such as the such as a more comprehensive, integrated, and intelligent approach to network security, especially in the world of artificial intelligence that, that we are experiencing in today's world. So in this, today, you have learned about the definition of a firewall and the different types of firewall that could be used in an organization and a business.